guys. I'm sure. Friday and hello all and welcome to this episode of the daily video announcements. Today is October 7th. I'm Charlie. And hi, I'm Maddie. Now it's time to stand, place our hand over our heart, and honor this awesome country of ours as we say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, now our Glowathon fundraising update. Look what we've got. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get the numbers up and tape the principles to the wall. We currently have $12,000, only 3,000 left to go. Check your emails, people, and have your parents follow the instructions to sign up and access the Pledge Star Glowathon fundraising information, if you haven't already. Share this Pledge Star web address with your parents. Yeah. <laughs> okay, next up, National Day! Today is National Chocolate Covered Pretzels Day. Wow, really? I absolutely love pretzels and me, chocolate. Me too. I personally like chocolate covered pretzels. I'm like obsessed. <laughs> like, I also like those. Quick reminder to check out the survey of the week and ten top ten voting on our communications Google Classroom. Yeah, please do. The results will be shared next Wednesday, and the question is vanilla or chocolate. Next up, birthdays. <laughs> Happy birthday to Michaela M, Gabriel G, Kavanchbeck K, and happy birthday to our weekend birthdays, Michael M, and Luca C. Now over to Mr. Harris. Sycamore Junior High, welcome to your daily video announcements. All right, a couple of these, again, probably last time we read them, make sure you're taking note of this, all that other stuff. All right, Beta Club, join a Beta Club Google Classroom using the following code, 2FPHNYA. That's for Beta Club, all right, join that. Mrs. Darbyshire and Mrs. Dworkin, they're going to post all your updates and meeting dates on that. So make sure you join the Beta Club classroom. Ski Club, your informational meeting is going to be Thursday, October 20th during Flex in the Media Center. So this is for people who are interested in skiing and ski boarding. You're, this club is the club for you. If you have any questions, see Ms. Meyer or Mrs. Swenson. Partners Club, your first meeting is going to be on October 19th right after school until 4 o'clock in the cafeteria. Partners Club is a great club to work out, have some fun things, do some fun projects. Join Google Classroom, VNPT2AOR, if you have any questions. And if you have questions about that and want to talk to somebody, talk to Mrs. Ennis or Mrs. Serblis. We the People, your meeting is going to be on Tuesday, October 25th at 7.15 a.m. in the morning. All right. Um, this meeting is going to be in room 200. If you enjoy debating constitutional issues, you think you want to be a lawyer, if you like politics and law and that kind of stuff, this is the club for you. If you have any questions, please see Mr. Hammer or Mr. Gudermuth in room 200. And last but not least, this is a huge deal. We got some new info from the library. If you have a library ch checked out and you are finished with it or renew it, you get a first class ticket, even if it's late. All right, so bring those books back, renew them, Give them back to the library so you can collect a first class ticket. This has never been done before. Remember, they don't charge you late fines, okay? So if you return your books on time, not only do you not have to worry about anything like that, but you get a first class ticket. So bring those books back to the library. That's it for me. I'm going to enjoy the weekend. I hope you guys do the same thing, and we'll see you on Monday. Thank you, Mr. Harris. Now we have a special staff recognition.
Um, you know what your students need before they even tell you. Um, what makes Miss Ennis really stand out is how she always finds ways to make learning fun and engaging. Yes, 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 no, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> what do you really want? From the admin side, you're always coming to the extracurriculars, even after hard days, and participating in those events, and we really appreciate it. Yay! Thanks. Now over to Mr. Stern. Good afternoon, Aviator Nation. Mr. Stern here to talk to you about uh, what we'll call Stern's Mailbox. Sometimes you guys send me emails asking questions related to the school or related to discipline. I certainly appreciate that, and I appreciate any additional questions that you have. That's sternm at sycamoreschools.org. Hey, but this one comes from John. I'm just going to use first names. And the question from John was, Mr. Stern, I, I received a detention, and I have a game today. Can I reschedule my detention? And unfortunately, the answer is no. We do not reschedule detentions based on athletic events or um, things uh, of that nature, things that are school related, because you got to figure we've already worked it out with your mom. We've already worked it out with the person that's uh, going to be doing detention that particular afternoon. So once we have scheduled a detention, it is expected that you attend on that day. I um, also want to let you know that when you do receive a, a, a detention, your coaches know as well that you have a detention that day. So they're not expecting you to show up. So if you come out on the practice field, you get on the bus, uh, they're going to know that you're not expected to be there. And I think that's going to also cause a problem for you. So uh, yeah, you want to attend that det detention. You want to get that out of the way. Hey, like we always say, you can't control the consequences, but you can always control your behavior. Have a great day. Thank you, Mr. Stern. Hey, Maddie, happy Flamingo Day. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thanks. Here's a message from our principals about Flamingo Friday. Happy Flamingo Friday, Sycamore Junior High School! We're so excited. So if you've noticed, teachers and staff members around the building now have a flamingo somewhere in their classroom. Underneath that flamingo is a number. We're going to pull a number on our Flamingo Fridays and award that teacher with a fun prize. So if you receive the number that is chosen out of the jar, make sure you call Leslie Lally to report it. We will be checking your flamingo to ensure you have the correct number. Without further ado, here we go. Play Mr. Cole if you don't win. Number 40. Woohoo! Number 40. If you are number 40, make sure you reach out to Mrs. Lally. Have an awesome Friday. Now for the joke of the day. What do cows like to read most? I don't know. What? Catalogs! That's moogalist. That's a wrap up today. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day, Sycamore. Stay classy and go Yay! <laughs>